What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE and AEW action figure set up for you guys, and it is WWE versus AEW edition. What is good, everyone? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the backstage is full of not only WWE, but also AEW Unrivaled action figures, man. With everything taking place in the wrestling world today, man, I had to go ahead and make a WWE versus AEW action figure setup. I think we did this not uh, maybe a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, but I had to do it again, man. With the recent AEW All Out show, the emergence of so many new stars in AEW, the talk of WWE being the B company now and everything taking place, man. I had to make a new setup with WWE versus AEW. We're going to take you through it, guys. I got everything full right here. It's action-packed, man. Absolutely action-packed. I can't wait to take you through it. Let's go ahead and dive in, man, and we will take you through the setup. And you guys can let me know down below, do you like WWE more or AEW more? Do you like the AEW action figures more or the WWE action figures? Let me know all these things down below, man, but let's go ahead and dive in the setup, man. Let's go ahead and start off in the GM's office. Now, we get in the GM's office, you guys will see we do have Triple H and Stephanie, kind of like the head of NXT versus the head of AEW, right? You got the two power couples, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon versus Cody and Brandy Rhodes over here. And basically, I just have Cody Rhodes kind of yelling in, in H's face, right? He's like, I'm here, Brad, and I make a pretty damn good wrestling product. And, you know, NXT's not even, it, it, the, the Wednesday Night Wars are over now. So, you know, I just kind of have him getting in the face there. They're not afraid. They're not backing down. They're doing their own thing over there. I know they got the ex-WWE talent, but at the same time, man, they got their own stuff going on, and I'm enjoying the product. But we have the two power couples right here kind of getting in each other's faces. Figured that would be a really good way to start off our AEW versus WWE figure setup. So there is the GM's office with H and Cody. Now, if we come to the outside, man, you guys will see outside the office door, we have another man in suit, and that is going to be Vincent Kennedy McMahon. You guys will see who's in front of him. None other than Daniel Bryan. Bryan Danielson recently signed with AEW at All Out. Made his debut or made his first appearance and Daniel Bryan's basically telling him to suck it it's all it's all good fun you know Daniel Bryan I think has an edgy side he wasn't able to reveal that in WWE so in the setup I figured I could tell that story and I have Daniel Bryan pointing to his genitals and telling Vince McMahon to suck it I know they don't have any ill will there's no hard feelings but I figured it would work out in the setup so Daniel Bryan is uh, giving him the suck it if we come forward guys we will have an RKO out of nowhere Randy Orton hitting Andrade with a beautiful RKO right here now i i kind of i didn't really want to have i wanted to have randy orton with a superstar that was not from wwe but by the time i got all the setup done it was not possible so randy orton is hitting andrade with a beautiful rko and that's kind of all, the only place that i could find for him right here if we come forward a little bit guys you will see carl anderson getting stomped out by drew mcintyre and you'll also notice in this setup we kind of go back and forth it's not all wwe dominating it's not all aew dominating i tried to get creative mix it up a little bit have some superstars fighting and stuff like that and you guys can let me know who won the setup down in the comment section below but drew mcintyre stomping a mud hole in carl anderson hasn't been the uh, internet favorite as of late so i figured uh, he could get some comeuppance here in the setup video and we come back here ladies and gentlemen you know i had to uh you know we're renewing an old flame right here edge and christian edge at the top of his game in wwe christian at the top of the game in aew former tag team partners just you know the best of friends and they come together here in the setup they're not gonna fight brother they're gonna give a gentleman's handshake and i figured that would work out pretty good so you have christian and edge right there having a nice old time no no point in getting in a fight right there but i figured it was very symbolic the way you know they used to be tag team partners and now they are in their older age still tearing it up on you know in their respective companies if you guys look over here you will have orange cassidy none other than the man just chilling on the wall over there figured he could lean up against the wall there's no reason for him to be i, I almost had him jumping off of something you know with the hands in the pockets however i figured it would work out good for him to just be chilling on the back wall over there so i figured that would work out pretty nice if we go to the back right here, I, it's going to be hard to, to see it completely, guys, but you have Kevin Owens hitting Luke Gallows with a stunner and Bobby Lashley, the WWE champion, actually hitting Hangman Adam Page with a spear. So, uh, I know it's kind of hard to get back there from this angle, so I'm, I'm trying my best to get back there. So, there's a ton of figures and I don't want to knock them over, but you guys will also see that we have the GOAT. We have John Cena coming through the door and he lo 
looks pissed off, man. He's here to, uh, you know, get on the side of WWE and do his best. He was late from Hollywood. You know, he didn't show up on time for the setup, so he's running through the door saying, I'm here now, and he's ready to kick some ass, but he was a little late, so I have him coming in late. Who knows how the setup will go after this, but let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we can come a little bit forward and take a look at Miro. Miro hitting Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice kick. Current TNT champion, kind of just saying, you know, my mid-card championship is a lot more valuable than yours, right? Uh, Intercontinental champion King Nakamura or Shinsuke Nakamura getting kicked in the face by Rusev slash Miro there, so I figured we could have them tearing it up right there. Again, didn't really want. I figured the TNT champion, he's been, you know, I think he's like 14-0 and or something in AEW at time of recording, so I figured that would work out pretty nice. So TNT champion over the Intercontinental champion right there, and we are moving on, guys. If we come to the middle of the setup, this is where the rubber meets the road, Brad. The Bloodline versus the Elite. You have Kenny Omega and Roman Reigns staring off. Universal Champion, AEW Champion. Matt Jackson delivering a super kick to Jimmy Uso, and then Jay Uso delivering a super kick to Nick Jackson. Tried to balance it out right there, but uh, they're about to do war, and you also have Adam Cole backing up Kenny Omega. I wanted to use something for Adam Cole. Didn't get around to it. Uh, you know, it kind of ran out of room here with everything going on, and I figured that uh, this could work out anyways. Almost had him over there with Daniel Bryan telling, uh, you know, Vince McMahon to suck it, but I was like, you know what, Brad? We'll just have him over here with the Elite. So we have the beautiful Universal Champion and the AEW Champion, and uh, kind of like an MDT Live versus Vindication setup going on right there. A lot of people want to see that in a pay-per-view. Let me know down below, guys, if you would like to see an MDT Live versus Vindication pay-per-view. Maybe one day we can get to that. We come to the front, ladies and gentlemen. I could not, for whatever reason, I could not think of a really creative thing to do with Jericho. I wanted to do something cool with the yelling expression. Couldn't figure it out, so I figured why not just lock AJ Styles into the walls of Jericho. Kind of renew that rivalry there, and I wanted a top AEW, you know, Hall of Fame status with a WWE Hall of Fame status, so I went with AJ Styles. Kind of, you know, he's still on the current roster, but he's also a big-time talent, so I figured that would work out. If you go to the back, ladies and gentlemen, right behind the Elite, you will see that we have MJF kissing his ring after he has just knocked out The Miz. So The Miz is actually out cold on the ground, and John Morrison is like, what the hell just happened? That's kind of my story that I got going on right here. So MJF, you know, uh, I, I feel like MJF, people will say that The Miz is better than MJF. Of course, he has a more illustrious career. He's accomplished more than MJF at this juncture, but MJF, I think, is a better heel. I think that his work is better overall than The Miz, and uh, I I, I don't know. I feel like he's an edgier Miz. He has that edge that I really like in my wrestling, so I figured he could uh, knock the Miz out right here and have John Morrison overlooking. So, MJF has knocked out the Miz right there. We're coming up on my favorite part of the setup, I think, and that is going to be the New Day versus the Inner Circle. So, right here, guys, Big E is actually crushing Santana's skull with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Felt like that was a pretty good shot there. Xavier Woods is taking it to Ortiz, so the New Day kind of has the, you know, they kind of have the upper hand right here, but if we move right here, you will see Sammy Guevara taking a selfie while Jake Hager chokes out Kofi Kingston. I really like this uh, this this part of the setup right here. Probably my favorite part. I just think that's something that Guevara would do. Hager would do. He's got the headlock on Kofi and Sammy Guevara is just kind of enjoying it. Tongue out expression. Taking the selfie and uh, you know just kind of forgetting about the fight but I like it. Inner Circle versus New Day. I, I like that booking right there and we're going to move on from the setup man. We have Malachi Black or Aleister Black hitting a black mask on Matt Riddle. You know the other half of RK Bro over here with the RK and Andrade, so I figured another talent could be knocking out Matt Riddle, and I know it's not connecting with his face, a little rusty on my posing, gonna have to get that adjusted, but a black mask to Matt Riddle, I thought that would, you know, that would work out pretty nice. Again, couldn't think of anything else for him there, but I wanted to see a black mask in the setup, so I went with that. We come a little bit forward, ladies and gentlemen, you will see Matt Hardy talking to Jeff Hardy, right? So he's basically like, oh, brother Nero, I know you're going to come to AEW. Basically, Matt Hardy trying to convince his brother to come over to AEW, and uh, basically pointing at him and saying, you will come. And he's, you know, he's being real dramatic and stuff. But Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy right there talking. I figured that would be a really nice deal. Matt Hardy trying to convince Jeff. I think one day we may see it. But at this juncture, that is not the case. But uh, maybe he can convince him one day. Right here, guys, we had to renew the rivalry, right? John Moxley, Dean Ambrose with Seth Rollins having a stare down. I wanted to have a paradigm shift or something in the setup. But I actually, I ended up not going that direction. I just wanted to have a nice stare down right here. I also thought about doing a shift deal. Didn't end up going in that direction either, so I just have John Moxley and Seth Rollins staring down there, and I think that works out pretty good. If we come to the back, ladies and gentlemen, you will see Brock Lesnar loading up Dustin Rhodes. See the expression on Dustin Rhodes' face? Brock Lesnar loading him up for an F5, and Dustin Rhodes doesn't look too happy about it, Brad. He looks pretty upset, and for good measure. You know, that, that makes a lot of sense to me on why he would be upset, but he's about to get F5, and if you guys look up at the top here, 
you will see that Darby Allen is about to hit a coffin drop onto Brock Lesnar off the top there. And we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that at the end. And we'll have uh, Darby Allen coffin drop onto Brock Lesnar. You guys know we usually do that in the setup. So off that scaffolding, he's about to come down on Brock Lesnar. And I felt that that was a pretty good shot there. If you guys look right here in the back, you will see CM Punk returning to wrestling. And he's just kind of taking in what he has kind of started, right? He's kind of uh, even the odds there. CM Punk returning to wrestling, returning to AEW. Probably the biggest news ever, man. Just things that we've made videos about. Things that we have fantasy booked and we've talked about for years and years. Finally comes to fruition and he's just kind of taking in the competition of WWE and AEW. So I felt like, you know, that would be pretty good there. So he's standing up there and then finishing off our setup, guys, we do have the Lucha Bros, the new AEW Tag Team Champions. You got Ray Phoenix and Pentagon and Penta is hitting that package pile driver off of the storage units onto Ricochet onto the barbed wire table and I just wanted a package pile driver with the Lucha Bros and I didn't have another tag team right here and like a current good tag team so I figured you know what throw Ricochet in there he's a great talent and uh, you know he, he got package pile drive man so that pretty much wraps up the setup in its entirety man I think that pretty much does it we are going to do the coffin drop for Darby Allen onto Brock Lesnar and everything but I would love to know down in the comment section below guys what is your favorite part of the setup what is uh what's your take on AEW versus WWE which do you like more whose figures do you like more whose do you like posing around more and all those different things but I had a ton of fun with this setup it was really fun to get back into the setup we haven't done a setup in so long so it was very nice to get back into that and uh, get my posing back down and, and try that so that is going to do it for the video guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and stay tuned for the coffin drop on the brock lesnar oh my god brad look on top of the scaffolding dorby allen coming off the top of the coffin drop on a brock lesnar also brad if you'll look across the way pentagon loading up ricochet with a package pile driver onto the barbed wire table slash platform uh, don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been.